Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to today's Caffeine for the Soul. This week I'm going to be sharing some excerpts from the audiobook of The Inside Out Revolution. And we begin today with the transformative conversation, both what it is and how it leads to effortless change. We have the most wonderful job in the world. We find people in various stages of sleep, and then we get to tap them on the shoulder and be with them as they wake up to the full magnificence of life. Sid Banks Imagine that a man comes to you for coaching. He's about to turn 30, and he's decided that it's time to grow up and take over the family carpentry business. He wants you to share innovative marketing techniques, work with him on how to make better personnel decisions, and coach him to incorporate technology to bring the business into at least the new millennium. But even as you're speaking together, something's bothering you about the conversation. He's saying all the right things and seems willing to do all the right things, and yet something still feels out of alignment. Following your intuition, you go back and review the client intake form he filled out when he first came to you. And to your surprise, you see that his name is Jesus, and he's from a small town in the Galilean region of Israel called Nazareth. Here's the question. Do you really want to work with him on becoming more successful in his carpentry business? What if every man, woman, and child you meet has the seeds within them to become who they truly are. What if that includes you? When people ask me to tell them more about the transformative conversation, I tend to explain it like this. It's a meaningful conversation about the nature of the human experience. When we look to the nature of something, we're looking to see it not as it appears through our own eyes, but as it is before being seen. Or to put it in considerably simpler terms, we're looking to see the truth of it, even as we recognize the inevitability of distorting that truth the moment we attempt to describe it in words. And the deeper we look in the direction of the truth behind the human experience, the more we're likely to see. We seem to have an innate desire to know ourselves at deeper and deeper levels. For most of us, this journey begins with an exploration of our own individual psychology. This kind of self-analysis can reveal an extraordinary amount of data and distinctions as we discover we're introverted or extroverted, have high or low self-esteem, and are more or less honest with ourselves than we'd hoped or feared. But self-awareness can quickly turn to self-consciousness, as each new observation is coupled with a judgment and an attempt to fix our faults and improve our virtues. Before long, we become hopelessly entangled in a struggle against our own psyche, spending countless hours and endless effort trying to become the person we think we ought to be. By way of contrast, When we look away from our own unique peccadilloes and consider the nature of the human experience, we discover a very interesting thing. That most of what we thought was wrong with us is simply a part of the human condition. Everybody has moods. Everybody does things that seem like a good idea at the time and then regrets them later. Everybody fails at some things and succeeds at others. And the ratio is usually more a function of what they choose to attempt than any personal genius or lack of potential. When we stop asking, what's true about me, and begin asking, what's true about human beings in general, we discover things about our incredible capacity for resilience, creativity, and hope. People are amazing, a fact that's much easier to see when we aren't looking at them in some kind of judgmental comparison with us. The human experience is that which is true for all human beings. So when I speak with people... We begin by having a conversation about some aspect of their life, money, career, performance, relationships, etc., and it inevitably evolves into a conversation about the nature of life in general. And as a result of that conversation, their lives transform. Now, I know that sounds a big promise to make, but I've seen it happen so many times that I no longer shy away from saying it. When people see something fundamental about the nature of their experience, their experience shifts. And as a result of that shift, life begins to change, seemingly without effort, all by itself. In tomorrow's excerpt, I'll be sharing the elements of transformation, two things that always seem to be present in any genuinely transformative conversation. In the meantime, you can learn more about the book by following the links of the podcast or going to www.insideoutrevolution.com. Until then, have fun, learn heaps. 
and I'll talk to you soon.